Yeah. <coughs> what the fuck is going on? It's John in the motherfucking house. We in this bitch. We in this. What's up, guys? It's Kevin G. Kevin Grimstad. John's little bro. We back in here. It's been a minute. I've been on my steady grind. You already know. I don't know Another if you guys, you know, if you guys follow me, you guys are staying tuned in. Another I'm grinding a lot of a lot of stuff right now. A lot of stuff right now. I'm on my steady grind, but here I am right now. We made it. Me and my bro be doing another podcast. We talking about some real shit. Another one is what we do. You know what I'm saying? Another we keep it real. Another one. Motherfuckers don't like that shit. Another, another, but we another hit. <laughs> so let, let's let's talk about a couple of things, bro. So uh, our first topic, we're, in, we're we're just gonna talk about some sparks of motivation. And um, honestly, John, what what really sparked your motivation, man? What really got you going? Like, what what made you just strive? You know what, man? Like, to be real with you, man, like, I can't, I can't even answer that question correctly because at the end of the day, I feel like motivation and, you know, that hustler spirit, it's like, it's just, it's just in you. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that, that, that it's just a fire behind you that you can't even explain. You just, you just want to, you just want to continue to elevate. That's what it is. It's like when, when you guys just gain this sort of mentality of like, you just want more. And you want more. There's no way that once you reach a certain level, like you already accomplished a, a certain amount of things, it's like you can't even, you can't take a couple step, steps back. Like you just got to keep on going. There's no way to to just stop. Like you might as well just keep it going rather than just stop and restart, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, then maybe maybe it's time to just really, here, we're going we're gonna to talk about some You know, if shit. it don't, then... It's not meant for you, but if no, it's no, meant it, for you, it's okay though because, like, bro, that's the thing about life, right? Not everyone's supposed to be the boss. Everyone needs to know, and everyone needs to understand their position in life, right? Unless you want more, you can always change it. No one's stopping you. You know what I'm saying? But if you know your position and you're comfortable and that's where you want to be, then so be it. That's that should just be you. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, but sure. if your buddy over here is saying, hey, man, I want to open up a business and I want to do this. and I want to do that. Support him. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with showing there's, love. There's, and there's not, it's not even that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I notice when you come up with success, bro, it's not the people that, you know what I'm saying, that, that are around you. It's the people that don't really know you. It's the people nice. that, you know what I'm saying, that are nice. following your podcast. They seen you from episode one. Now you're at episode 300. And, and, and they seen you grind. You know what I'm saying? And for instance, shout out Anne, like, bro, right, shout out to I, I don't even know who she is. I never met her in my entire life. And she a real one. She's showing genuine love. She's seeing the, she's seeing the inspiration. She, she's gaining some sort of inspiration from us because of the grind. And, and that's, that, that should just be real as it is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really all about just gaining a strength of motivation and keeping that going. Um, a lot of people don't really know where to start. So, I mean, you know, like we were saying before, and, you know, it, it's really about that fire that's in you. And if you don't really have that fire in you, then it's kind of hard to start. But if you have that fire in you and you don't know exactly where to start, well, we're here right now. We're going to talk some real shit to get into this. So honestly. No, nah, the thing is, is that, look, at the end of the day, it comes down to this. Do you give a fuck what anybody else thinks? That's that's the that's the real question you really have to ask yourself, and it's really deep, right? It is deep. It's very deep because like like this is something that you really gotta like sit by yourself and really ask myself and be honest and be truthful to yourself. Because if you're not truthful with anybody else and you're not truthful with yourself, then nothing in life is gonna come to you. That's a fact. That's a that's a fact. It, it's really about you know as you're striving and as you continue to elevate, you're gonna gain a sort of audience where people are gonna doubt you. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you as a person either to ignore that or use that as a source, as motivation to keep it going, if that makes sense. So basically, you know, I'm on my steady grind right now. You know, I'm only 21 years old. Um, Right now, currently, I'm pushing a candle company called Venner with one of my closest friends. Shout out to Elsie. Uh, She's amazing. Um, I'm pushing that. I got an esports team right now. 
Uh, I'm pushing like gaming content and stuff like that. And of course, that's going to come with an audience of people that maybe don't really like doing that. And uh, let me let me tell you guys, it, it, it's hard. It's hard to, uh, you know, continue to strive for that when not a lot of people are interested in that. If you know what I'm saying? So it's just like in the beginning. Yeah, it was hard. But it's really about like you. you if you use that as a source of motivation, that, that's going to keep you going. That's going to keep you pushing. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to build your character. There's, there's no way around that at all. And don't act like you, you know what I'm saying? You got to figure it out because at the end of the day, I don't have it figured out. No, I don't think anybody has it figured out at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about figure it out like all the way 100%. Like, Facts. come on, bro. Facts. Be real and, with yourself, and I'm bro. still, And I'm still, and I'm still elevating. I'm here right now. I'm not even at my full potential, but I'm here right now and I'm still elevating. I'm still grinding. I'm still trying to find myself. Um, but... If you don't give up on yourself, I promise you, you will elevate. And you need to find you need to find something that you know you really enjoy in life. Exactly. Right? If exactly. something makes you happy, then so be it. It makes you happy. Be you know what I'm saying. It doesn't have to make anybody else happy. It make, it's all about you. It's at all the end about of the day. you at the end of the day. And like if if you like to go paint, or you like to fucking build things, or you like to be you know you like to fix cars, whatever you want to do in your life, you want to edit videos, whatever you want to do. If you can pay your bills and you can continue what you're doing that makes you happy, then why not keep doing it? Exactly. And why why should you listen to somebody that's not really doing anything for themselves, but they want to give a sort of opinion about what you got going on? That doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's all about having that inner strength in you and you you just got to keep it pushing. You got to keep it going. That That's really part of the process. And honestly, that's what builds your character um, personally. Uh, it, it really does build your character when when people just doubt you as you're pushing something that you believe in. You know, you're putting your full effort in and it, it definitely builds your character. Um, I mean, for example, for John, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure like as growing with the with the episodes and with Dope Talk and all this. And I mean, there's people that were supporting before and they're probably not here right now, but it's part of the process. You know what I'm saying? Like, and here here we are right now. We're still on our steady grind. So it's all about having that inner strength. You cannot. You cannot give up on yourself. You got to think about it as like, do I really want to fold on myself or do I want to keep it going? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really about that. You, you really can't fold on yourself. Um, well, it's like, you know what? Like the best advice that was given to me recently was, you know, don't even give nobody advice if they, they don't ask for it. Exactly. Exactly. Like for real, for real. Like that's one thing I had to learn because you may want to like help out a friend so bad. Like there's a couple of friends that you want to help out, you know, yep. so-and-so, you know, you try to convince them like, you know, for instance, you know. Maybe you get your license and something and you're like, hey, like, I just got my license. I'm making good money. You know, you want to convince other people to do it, but they don't even see the vision or they don't want it for themselves. You or, shouldn't you shouldn't even waste your energy because at the end of the day, it's your energy that you're wasting. You ever like hung out with someone that's like, you know, you hang out with them for a couple hours and you're just tired. You're exhausted because of the conversations you guys are having. You're exchanging the energy. Yeah, it's. Like yeah. how much energy is really going into the conversation and, and what is it about? Exactly. That's very important. And that, and that also falls under like about what circle you're around and who you're surrounding yourself with. I mean, like if you're not really surrounding yourself in the correct circle, um, you are who you are. Like I, exactly, I've seen, I've yeah. seen, I seen a post the other day. Uh, it was real. It was really real. He goes, yo bro, like surrounding your people, surrounding yourself with the right people is super important, right? You want to be married one day, hang around married folks. You want to become a millionaire? Hang around millionaires. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you are who you hang around. If you hang around four losers, you're going to be the fifth. And so, that's facts. So that's facts. You, that's facts. It's simple as that. You pick and choose on what you want to do. If you're not learning nothing from this person at all, then what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with this with this relationship? Yep. You know. And, th- and there's some agree. people that it's super super hard to let go. Super. You know, and it's like, man, like I've had I had relationships with people where it's like, man, you my bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's still like that. I still love you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like now yeah. you got to love them from a distance because now it's just like. It's just, you know, it's different. You eventually as you grow older, I mean, with your childhood friends or whatever you. you yeah, know, but it's but, the experiences that you have with people that really it's like. Whoa. No, just know your position. Like, no, exactly. like, again, going back to, to knowing your position in life, right? Like, like you have friends that you wouldn't call to have your back in a certain situation. Exactly. 
because you know that situation, you know that type of person and what position he plays in your life. Yep. There are certain people that play different parts in your life. Not everybody's the money getter. Not everybody's the person that's, you know, a hustler. Maybe there's a guy that's really good at computers. You got to separate those type of people. You yep. can't be mad that the money getter is not, you know, a person that does computers. Exactly. That doesn't do it. Or not as hungry as you are. Or vice versa. Or the computer guy, not you know, he doesn't have the ambition to get money because he's never gotten it. He doesn't know. He doesn't have the spirit, the hustler spirit. Exactly. You know, so. Or maybe he wasn't really guided properly on that. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. There's different. Everybody has a different story. So, you know, just know their place, you know, and keep them at that place. Right. Exactly. You know, if somebody says, oh, man, like you owe me something or you that's a different story, because at the end of the day, you don't owe nobody nothing except for you know, your mom. That's my opinion. Family first, money you know, second. Your mom. Your mom is, you know, the one that if she raised you right and she was in your life, yeah. You know? I feel like that's that's me personally. A hundred percent, bro. You know, so um Nigga, we made it. <laughs> we in here. I'm sunburned, by the way. Yeah, my boy went to the beach. <clears throat> my boy looked like a tomato right now. I'm super red. I should have worn uh sunblock and shit. That's the difference between uh Johnny and Kev is uh he gets red, I get freaking dark. It but. gets it gets tiring, man, when you're out in the sun for a while. When you come back home, you're just like, man, like the sun really whooped my ass. No, yeah, the sun definitely takes a toll from you. I agree. <laughs> I was just telling him that before we started this. I was like, bro, I don't, you know, we're he's doing it though. You know what I'm saying? Like this is part of what we were talking about. Look, he you went know, to the beach for a couple hours, right? We come back, he's exhausted, but we're here right now and we're on the steady grind and we're here pushing another podcast. And that should just show you that really growing like really having that spark in you to just do better i promise you if you you keep that mental you keep on pushing for yourself there's no way around there, there's no way that you could lose there's no way that you could lose by just pushing to your full potential you cannot give up on yourself you cannot fold on yourself at all yeah, it all relies on you you know what man you know what these people bro these people probably watch and they don't have no motivation themselves I mean, yeah. There's some people and that do fine. it. Some people are going to take it, and some people, some people are going to run with like, it. Oh, uh, uh, here they are again. And that's fine. But no, guess no, what? We're going to keep but, it pushing. But, it's, but you know what? It's like, We're going to keep it pushing, bro. At the end of the day, I don't even want to, you know? I want to talk about what's really going on right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, for instance, like, bro, stepping outside. People stay indoors, and they're always inside, and all this. You know, bro, going outside, breathing in that air, putting your feet in the ground. Getting that energy. They say that, bro, they say that keeping your feet in the ground reduces stress. I, bu I believe with the, it, When bro. you're connected with the earth, it reduces stress. It, 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 it brings your uh, cholesterol, high blood pressure, you know what I'm saying, the I whole night. I mean, like, I mean, come on, the cavemen, man. They were no. walking around barefoot. I mean, our feet are not even supposed to be with shoes on. And it kind of makes you think, scientifically. like, scientifically. It kind of makes you think, like, wow, like the monks, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like the monks and shit. No, nah, yeah, for sure. Did you hear about the monks? I heard the, the <laughs> <laughs> I saw the post. Did man. you see? Did you, I don't know if you but, guys saw this, hey, guys. I'm gonna, I'm screenshot. gonna, I'm gonna put the picture up here. And you know, it's crazy that these monks, they, uh, they all, they had to get rid of all of them because they all tested positive for for meth, it, which is insane, right? Very much insane. So who's gonna? <laughs> I don't know anybody that wants to sign up to become a, a monk. I mean, not on this side at least. So I mean, I yeah, personally, I never knew. I never knew they were drug addicts. I didn't know like that that was a thing. It's crazy that they all tested positive for it. Yeah, they had to get rid of all, all of them. <laughs> I mean, they had to shut the whole place down until further notice, which is crazy to me. Um, it kind of it's kind of trippy to think about, I'm not going to lie, especially if that's some sort of uh, you know, belief from other people. You know what I'm saying? It, it really makes you it, it makes you, you know, think about that. But there's, um no, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of different things that's going on right now. You know? Shit, we might go to war. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like we look, COVID's finally slowing down. Like, go, like no, no, it's not. It's, 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 it's not even Ukraine, that. It's like Russia. no one, no one's talking about it no more. Earthquakes. That's why I'm kind of confused. Like, no one's talking about COVID anymore. I'm now gonna keep. So I'm gonna keep talking about it. The whole Epstein thing is like thrown under the fucking rug. Like no one's trying to talk about it. Like, UFO sightings are crazy. They're, right arre now. they're arresting all these people that went to school, right? Like. I'm talking about sexual predators, bro. Like, like it's, nasty, like nasty shit. And there's people like that all over the world, right? But there's people in power that are like that, right? I, I look at the comments on Facebook, and I'm like, wow, bro, these people really don't like these type of guys. 
Well, imagine those type of people doing, having a higher power, right? Imagine those type of people that are in office, those type of people setting laws, those type of people doing stuff like that and getting away with it. That's insane. It's the devil's work, bro. I mean, the devil's getting exposed right in front of our eyes right now, real life. I mean, this should just be obvious. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it's always important to keep God close and understand that uh, God is uh, very important to have in, in, in your life. Um, we, we are very strong believers of that. Uh, we and, you know, and, and we don't and we don't really pick up the Bible 100 percent all the way. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, we definitely want to be in tune with that and we want to sure. educate ourselves even more even on it. More. You know? Yeah. I mean, we um, weren't really, uh, you know, when we were kids, we, you know, we didn't really have that. I mean, we went to church with mom and stuff, but it was, you know what I'm saying? I wish we it, were it wasn't bit, it wasn't every Sunday. It I wasn't every Sunday. You know? It wasn't like a, oh, you know, like it wasn't set as a priority when we were, uh, you know, children. Which, which it should be. Which it know? should have been. Yeah, you know? for sure. But here we are right now. You know what I'm saying? And as we're growing older, we're getting closer to God. And that's all that matters. And uh, we would recommend for our viewers right now to definitely, uh, if you don't have some sort of relationship with God, to definitely seek one because, man, he's great. He's very great. Yeah, man. You know, you got to you gotta be good. Just be a good person, man. I feel like the way you get treated is how you treat the world. Exactly. You exactly. know? And I hate those type of people that are like always trying to do good deeds like in front of people or like recording themselves. It's yeah, like, bro, it's, it's like... like that be throwing me off. It's like it's like, bro, like what are you doing it for? Are you doing it for the attention for of the people views? thinking that you're a good person or you are you, why don't you just do it because you're just an actual good person? Yeah, exactly. I there's not there's never been a time where I'm like, "All right, I'm going to pull out my phone and record me giving this money to a homeless person." Like, bro, that's is that even the right thing to do? Like personally, on 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 that perspective, is like is that even the right thing to do? Was do does that homeless guy want to be recorded? Do you think he appreciates being recorded? You know what I'm saying? You guys got to think about it like that, too. I mean, like, I don't I mean, I know it's a good deed in your eyes, but like realistically recording that is just like, you know what I noticed, uh, too, is that I don't know. It's too much for like it's like you're doing it for clout more than what God wants. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's not it's and it's not even about that. It's just like just being a good person, bro. Like why why are you gonna be such a negative person why are you gonna be harmful to somebody you know what i'm saying yeah. it's okay to be you know you joke around and shit and there's jokes and shit but you know like some serious shit like this person that was begging on the side of the road i mean i already knew they were gonna use it for drugs yeah for sure i knew it <laughs> like you could just tell you know but maybe i just had some type of hope i was like you know what maybe this person's thirsty this person about to pass the fuck out on the side of the road yep Maybe he needs to grab a thirst buster right there around the corner. You don't know. Yep. You know, maybe I did something good. Maybe I didn't. But, you know. And half of the time, it's like, if I do see, you know, a homeless guy, it's either I'm giving them a water bottle, I'm giving them a granola bar or something that I have on me that they could have to 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 eat. You know what I'm saying? To actually make themselves feel a little bit better and to also remind them that there's good people in the world and to not give up on themselves. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's very important that um even though you don't know the person on the personal level it's it, it's very important to just at least help out in some sort of way because they they can't really receive that um i mean it's pretty obvious they can't receive that so it, it, it's i i think it's great <clears throat> being able to help people uh, especially if they're in that position to where they can't really do anything um but recording and and posting it on tiktok and then like hashtag helping the world like it's like come on man like do better you know what i'm saying like just do better that's not the proper thing to do and i'm 100 percent sure that god would not want that i mean i don't think that's the correct thing to do um no nah, but you know what man it's like i have two sides to me bro like you know as that gemini speaking you know i just got two sides like you know you i'm not really perfect i got some like evil sides to me <laughs> you know i mean we all have that and then you know it's like you know it's you like, got some good sides you know but it's like we're not all perfect of yeah. course i mean of course i mean That's, i got i got my wrongs too i'm not perfect but you know we're all every day we're trying to better ourselves and that's the goal you know what i'm saying and um like i said we're here right now it's almost 10 o'clock and we're, we're here steady grinding i mean i worked almost six six to seven hours today on the field um, working in on houses and, and, you know, that environment, you know, it's, it's, it's a little different, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, being new to it. So 
you know, it's all about the steady grind. I mean, it comes with a lot of stress who, uh, and it's all mental. You know what I'm saying? You know, but who, who do you call? Like, who do you call when you need help? Like, who, who do you, who's that guy? That guy is Justin Rodriguez. How, how, how important is having a mentor and teaching you the ins and outs, the ropes and actually just listening? It's, it's very important. So that's something that when I was younger, I didn't really understand. So it's just like young Dolph says, you know, bosses just sit back and listen. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't, they don't talk too much. So that's, that's very much a key to, to everything in life. I mean, personally, like, I mean, if you're, if you're not educated on a certain level with, with, with a certain topic, it's more of like, if someone knows something on that, on that level, it's, it's best to just stay quiet and just really tune in and, and soak yourself in. At the end of the day, you should just be a sponge. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's something that I was told. He, you know, he told me himself, like, look, you're just a sponge. You're soaking all of this in. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the key, man. Just, you know, just sit back and listen and, and tune in, educate yourself and elevate in life and, and take what you're, you're gaining and use it for any sort of source that you got going on for yourself. Just, just keep it pushing, man. It's really about like, you know, like we said in the beginning of the podcast, it's that inner fire in you. You cannot give up on yourself. You want to just continue to elevate. You want to continue to learn. And that's part of the process. That's pretty much it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just start start the week out good, you know, and wake up early. Like, I know it's hard. It's fucking hard for me, bro. Very hard. Man. I'm going to be real with you, bro. Waking up like I'm talking about when you don't really have to. Right. And you and then you and then all of a sudden you have to start waking up. No, it's not even that, though. It's when you don't have to. Right. You don't wake up. You wake up for your job. You don't wake up for yourself. Why do people on the on their days off they sleep in? They don't they don't wake up early. There's maybe like a small percentage that that do. They're trying to relax. It's their weekend. You know, no. they're trying to they're trying to just re-energize in bed. But really, that's not that's not the motive. Let's be honest. That's that's not really the no, motive. No, I mean I it's mean, a, it's a motive for. That's the thing. You can't be you know criticizing the people that are okay with just working. You know, so if that's what they want to do and be a worker and they're good and it pays the bills because there's some jobs that do pay. Yeah. Right. And that's that's you. Some people can't handle the stress. Some people can't handle the pressure of just you know, maybe this shit might not work out. Maybe, you know. For sure, for sure. I mean, like, there's different types of people, bro. You know, we said this in the beginning of the podcast as well. You know, it's like if it's not in you, it's not in you. You know what I'm saying? But if it is, then that's great. You know, just keep it pushing. That means that you have something in you. You have some sort of craft that God gave you, and you just got to keep it pushing. There's something that's out there that's meant for you. And uh, if you feel like you're unstoppable, that's a great mental. Just keep it pushing. You should feel like you're unstoppable no matter what. No matter what anybody's saying about you, no matter what Nigga, doubts we, you're getting, Nigga, we keep made. it pushing. Nigga, we made. Keep it pushing. 100. That's real, bro. You're motivating a lot of people out here, bro. You know, I'm not going to lie, bro. You know, actually, someone came up to me. I'm not going to say any names, but shout out to you. You know who I'm talking about. Um... He told me the other day, bro, he was like, listen, man, I like real talk, like you're, you're motivating a lot of people. Like you're actually like in the beginning, like we, you know, we saw you like, you know, you were out of the cut for a little bit, which I'm going to get back to on that. But they were like, yeah, we, you know, you were out of the cut for a little bit. We didn't really understand, but now we understand. And, you know, now they're just trying to better themselves right now. And they see that I'm very... I mean, you're starting up a team. You have somebody that's making beats. What's his name? His name is Joshua. Shout out, shout out to my boy, Joshua. Um, we just picked up a new producer for my esports team. Uh, he actually works with me. I met him. I have lunch with him all the time. Or uh, Actually, we, we get breakfast together. And uh, he's a great, genuine guy. Um, matter of fact, uh, we got close over a situation that happened at work. And, uh, you know, I was helping him out. I was giving him some advice on that. And, like... And from there, we just we just took off. He's a very genuine guy. Shout out to Joshua. I'll put his Instagram right here. You guys can shoot him a follow. Um, if you guys want some beats from him, hey, look him up. He he makes some fire beats. We're gonna tune in. We're gonna we're gonna throw in a couple beats that he made for us. Um, he's he, he's grinding right now. He's on a steady grind. He's he's actually pushing. This is part of what we were saying. I mean, like you know, I work with him. We got a norm, you know we got a job that you know we do during the day, and after we're pushing our craft. And, uh, you know, he told me that, Hey man, I'm a producer. I'm, you know, I actually make music and stuff like that. And it's more of like, he didn't have that push, you know what I'm saying? And then I came in and I'm like, bro, 
that's your craft. God gave you that. And you need to continue doing that. You got to keep pushing that, bro. How can I, you know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm like, how can I help him? How can I, how can I continue to help him push his craft? How, how I got him on the esports team and, uh, and you know, I got over almost 40 plus members now, which is absolutely insane. Um, it's only been, I think it's been like almost a year since coastal sailors has been announced. And, uh, all these 40 plus members are from Florida. They're all local members. And it, it's actually crazy. Um, Yo, shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yo, shout out to the whole coast of sailors, man. Yo, bro, just keep doing your thing. You never know who's watching, bro. All, it only takes one person, bro. Shout out to Chris Brown, bro. Shout out to Chris Brown. Shout out to Chris bro. Brown for sharing my, my thing, bro. I didn't, bro, to be honest, man, I always been a fan, but like I never really followed you on, on, on IG. But it was some girls that hit me up. My homeboy hit me up. He was like, yo, bro, my girl saw this, you know, my girl's cousin. I was like, yo, bro, this is crazy. Yeah, that's real shit. You know, I, it made me feel good that I, I didn't even see it. Luckily, they it, saw it. It's just the fact that it, it went out to him. It went it out reached, to him. It reached out to him. And that, that just shows you that consistency is key. You just never Staying know. consistent is very key. You know, when I saw that, it opened up my eyes. It made me feel like, whoa, bro, it's reachable. It's right there. And we all are, if you think about it, because it's right here in our hands. It's right there. You know? It's right there. Everyone that's became successful, everyone that became viral started from a room like this, a podcast like this, or a phone, and just started talking just like this. Yep. So it's up to you what you want at the end of the day. Well, shout out, Shout out to your boy. What's his name again? Joshua. Joshua, I'm going to play your... I'm going to start your beat one more time. We did play, play it in the beat. beginning. He just made it. He sent it to me two days ago. And that's how we're going to wrap it up, okay? We're going to wrap it up just like that. Yeah. 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 Bounce that shit. Yeah. Bounce that shit. Yeah. Shake that shit. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Shake that shit. Yeah. Pass that shit. Yeah. That's that loud. Hey. Pass that shit. Hey. That's that loud. <laughs> Shout out to Joshua, bro. That's the homie, man. Hell yeah. I'm glad you guys tuned in. If you guys if you guys want to check out Coastal Sailors, go ahead and do so. Link will be in the description. The app will be included. Everything will be included. If you guys want me to be tuned in into these podcasts a lot more, please let me know. You know this is my blood brother. You know, I support him with all my heart. This is actually my mentor. If it wasn't for him, I would not be you know, striving for a lot of things right now, to be honest. Um, not even two years ago. You know what I'm saying? I was in the worst place. Not worst place, but I was definitely in a hard place. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm here right now. I'm on my steady grind. And we're just keeping it strong. You know what I'm saying? We're keeping everything strong right now. So this is part of the process. We're going to keep it pushing. We're back with another episode. And uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this ep- episode. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Check out all our links in the description. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out. We love you.